Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, if you didn't hear, Barrow Katir is here on the La Ronda Relay on Mercury. And he brought a brand new weapon, right? Barrow brought a brand new weapon. And that is the Prisma Lens. I myself just got it. Tested it out in a map quickly, a quick like little relic, and it is pretty nice. Compared to the regular lens, I believe this has like 0.8 more crit multiplier and a little bit more damage, something like that. Maybe a little bit more status, right? I could be wrong, but uh, the stats on this weapon are overall really nice. How it works is it's a bow that has an AoE explosive kind of arrow charge. So it has radial attack like this, it has 70% fall off, right, damage fall off, but it does good damage overall. But the damage here is, you know, a good crit. So let's take it out to, let's say, a steel path survival, quickly see how it works, and just judge it. Remember, it's from Barrow Katir, currently May 19th to 21st, right? So that's the Barrow Katir rotation, May 19th. Pick it up, 500 ducats. This is the current build I'm using. Sorry for that, there we go. For now, it's nothing special whatsoever. I had some other stuff on. I threw infected clips on and it threw a little bit of viral on and then the toxin. Just throwing that on for some status damage for now. And then I have all of the crit. Prime shred seems to be something you want so you can hit enemies, the uh, arrow goes through them and explodes but I don't know if you need Prime Shred. Either way, it's there for now. Galvanized Chamber is godly, primary deadhead for damage, 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 right? Afterwards, I would throw on something like, to be honest, probably, where is it, where is it? Hammer Shot, Hunter Munitions would be good. You could throw on uh, internal bleeding, if you don't want to throw a ton of status on there. You could go galvanized scope or aptitude. Probably not aptitude, but scope would be pretty cool. Primed firestorm is probably a good idea, and I will throw it on afterwards. So, realistically, you'd probably want something like primed firestorm, and then hunter munitions, maybe crown rounds, or regular old hammer shot. You just want some more damage, right? add a little bit more damage, or maybe you'd want to do more attack speed. It's up to you, right? But that's how the current Prisma Lens. I'm enjoying it. The like one time I quickly took it out to use it. I had my Barrow video up this morning, quickly going over actually grabbing it, right? But we'll see how good it actually is in a little solo void survival steel path, just to take a look, right? I want to judge it alone, just like the weapon, right? So as always, remember to subscribe, like, and check out my YouTube, Twitch, and all of the social medias if you want to support the channel. Epic Games creator code Pupsker if you ever buy anything there, Each Fortnite, etc. But let us continue, before. and I thank you all for being here. With Pretty simple. Look at the weapon. Arsenal, like, look at succeed. that. It's, it looks pretty sick, just getting like a screenshot right there, and how you hold it up, like it, you just ripped it off an enemy, right? It's like it's a trophy. So it's a bow. As you can see, kind of an energy bow. When you shoot, it goes like that. So it's an explosive energy bow. If you quick shot it, it doesn't. It just won't quick shot, right? Doesn't have it, only as perfect shot. You need a little bit of attack speed or else it's a little too slow to fire. To okay, so now that enemies are actually spawning, let's take a look and see how this thing works, right? Pretty good, right? Look at that. I don't think the status damage is anything super high, so you'll want to go for those headshots. But it's still pretty good, right? I didn't headshot that. I just want to see how the base damage is, body shotting. Still pretty good. Might not be as good as something like the Natarak, but it is a good, like, AoE weapon, all things considered. Right? You can shoot through enemies. It doesn't have a ton of ammo, which seems to be its weakness. It has an ammo cap of, what was it, 8 or 9? Which is definitely not a good thing. Oh, I missed that shot so much. But the AoE damage on that is really good. So I think the Prisma Lens might, or sorry, the Lens might get an Incarnate form because of this. I think it would be cool if they gave it an Incarnate form because it's already like a pretty cool weapon. Seems like it'll be good to like hit enemies, slow them, do some damage, attack, run away, rinse, repeat, 
So the damage on it isn't like high status damage, right? So we hit an enemy. They have some viral cold stacks, but cold stacks aren't high, high tier, right? So if I hit another enemy, right, he gets uh, some impact, a little bit of blast and cold. Nothing really like high damage, so keep that in mind. Definitely. I don't think they're getting hit with any of the toxin stacks. So that might just be like a visual bug. So, yeah, it's good to know. Oh no. They caught me out. Aha! Get pranked. But yeah, that right now is how the prismal lens works. I just wanted to make a very quick video going over it, showcasing it, so that people can judge it while I'm playing some Warframe on stream, right? Look at it. It's pretty good, okay? This is without increased blast radius, like uh, Prime Firestorm, right? So once it gets increased blast radius, it'll get even better. And it's still missing two mods, so it can do higher crit damage, higher base damage. It can just do more damage, right? I'm not getting a lot of headshots here. So, right, I'm not really, like, using my primary deadhead to its fullest advantage. So it's probably a better idea not to use primary deadhead if you're just going to go around and, like, AoE kill enemies like that. So, maybe I'm going to throw on Primary Merciless. It seems like it's probably a little bit better to throw on because I'm too much of a potato. Not even hitting those headshots. So, let me know what you think of the Prisma Lens. It's pretty strong. I like it, and I would recommend it. So, get it from Barrow for the next couple of days if you want. It's strong even without any, like, Forma on it, as you can see. You'll just want to get some kills with, like, uh, Primary Merciless. Both are really strong, so... It doesn't really matter either way. Definitely on a side note, if you have the arcane instead of merciless, right? Primary frostbite, definitely want to use that. That's a lot of multi-shot increase and crit damage increase on cold status effect, guaranteed AoE cold status effect. So once you get that, it's borked to unimaginably high degrees. But since I suck, I don't have that leveled up. So yeah, that's going to be OP though. So yeah, sorry, just a side note, just a side note before I end it. So yeah, thank you all for watching, subbing, following along any of the social medias because there are so many, mainly Twitch and YouTube though. So thank you. Cheers, cheers.